everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger at dancefish.com and today I thought we would show you around the construction site, show you the progress of the new fish warehouse. It's uh, colder than a witch's you know what, so I'm going to make this quick. We're going to start with the surface well and then if we're lucky we can get inside and there, there might be some lights on. We'll, we'll see if the generator's still going at that point, so here we go. Alright, the first thing we're going to look at is just some pipes. These are the perforated 12 inch pipes that will bring water um, from underground right next to the creek and pipe it into our cistern where we will collect the creek water and, uh, and pump it up to the warehouse. So I just want to give you a quick look at, at these bad boys. So all those little perforations, that's where the water will enter those pipes. Got all the fittings right there. And over there, down yonder, those cement things whoop, to the right of the outhouse <laughs> are the cisterns. So let's go take a look at those. I guess this is worth looking at too. This is uh, where the gas service comes, our data service, all that stuff right here, uh, right alongside the road here. So. That's where we're connecting up to the road for our utilities. All right, I think I've been out here about four minutes and it's so cold. Look at this. Like my cheeks are freezing. Are they red? I bet they're red on camera. Anyway, you can see where the utilities are brought in right over here. From there, they cross the street here. So that's our power cabinet. So we've got electricity and stuff. The only problem is utilities haven't connected us to the street yet. So we have gas and data and electric all run through this whole thing and over to the building. But uh, they have to drop a transformer in before we actually get power. So we're waiting on the utility company and uh, that could be a while. <laughs> but anyway, here's the two cisterns. This round one goes in the creek itself. This big rectangle one um, goes into the creek bank uh, about 20 feet, 40 feet in from the river. Um, all those pipes there are where the water comes into the unit and from there it's pumped back out into the warehouse. So those are the cisterns for the um, surface well. Let's take you over here and we'll show you the surface wheel business. On our way, I guess we'll stop and show you the detention pond. I know, it's like you're in high school again, right? Back in detention. So this here is a big, long detention pond. So all the flood water from the lot has a place to go without flooding the creek. And then down here is where the surface wheel will be. Okay. So this cement barrier right here this is where we're going to excavate the creek. Um, we're going to take out all the silt and put in a thick layer of gravel and rock. Then this whole bank will be dug out and uh, gravel and rock will be put in there. The um, round concrete cistern will go there directly in the creek and that's a fail safe in case the uh, rectangular cistern ever doesn't get enough water then we can draw directly from the creek but that's not what we want to do what we want to do is this is going to be all excavated down here up until that rise there so we're talking about 40 feet by 40 feet or so something like that um, and in the middle here is where that cistern will go so we'll have all these pipes running this way with holes to collect the water as it flows from the creek through the gravel and rock and into those pipes. That'll go into the cistern and from there it'll be pumped up to the warehouse there. Now the reason we want it to do that is because as it goes through the gravel 
and, and rock and stuff, it'll get cleaned, so that'll help remove particulates and sediment. And if we're drawing directly from the creek, then we get quite a bit of the sedimentation that's in the water column. So if this ever gets to the point where it's not collecting water fast enough though, then we can turn a valve and, and collect directly from the creek if we had to. So that's our fail safe for that. And then it goes up to the warehouse. I'm gonna go up to the warehouse and see if there's lights on. Um, power's not connected yet, so there's a generator that's sometimes going uh, when the workers are in there. So if that's on, then I can give you a, a tour of the progress inside the warehouse there. So let's go up and take a peek. All right, looks like the generator's on, so we might be lucky. Um, they put down some gravel, which is nice, so now we don't get muddy every time we walk from the parking lot there to the warehouse, so that's nice. Now let's go in and see if we can record. All right, we got lucky here. We got the electrician working, so the lights are on, the generator's going, so I have an opportunity here to show you what is otherwise usually dark and unvideoable. So here's where we're at right now. I'm just pan across, show you the progress real quick. That's the whole scope of the warehouse so far. Um, electricians are working on these power strips. There's a bajillion, um, I think there's 508 outlets needed just on the ceiling, not to mention the power on the walls and stuff. So they've got their work cut out for them. Um, this is one of the furnaces. We have two furnaces, that way if one goes down, we're okay. And as you can see, it's all ducted up there. Um, each of these ducts runs between each row of aquariums, so we don't have heat blowing straight on tanks, which, as you can imagine, would not be ideal. Here's furnace number two, um, basically a twin, up and over that way. Um, over here, this is where our desk area will be by these windows, and so we've got some lights up to go over each desk. So we'll be able you know, work in there and see well. Um, emergency lights, of course. There's what's in so far. Again, the, the utilities are not connected yet, so nothing's actually run into these yet. Let's see your progress on the bathroom. Not much. I mean, it's just framed out with the door. There is a, a fan in there. Like they're getting ready to put the vent fan in there. And then this bad boy here, this is a cool unit. Um, this is an HRV, a heat retention ventilator. So this will bring fresh air in from outside and uh, take the old stale air out from the inside and exchange them and remove the heat from the outgoing air and basically transfer it to the incoming air. So that way you get fresh air coming in all the time and you don't have to spend a lot of electricity or power um, to heat it because it's heated through exchange so that'll help keep us nice and uh, cozy so that's about it you can kind of tell where the rows of tanks go because there's a, an electrical strip over each row of tanks and then lighting in the aisle between each row of tanks so that's where we're at um, insulation's thick these are two by sixes and they're full of spray foam insulation, so that's awesome. We, we painted it white just because we thought we'd get a little better lighting in here that way. Um, and with all the tanks in here, we, our tanks are painted black on four sides. Just the front pane is exposed. So it's not going to be this white and white once the tanks are in here. There'll be a lot of black in there to, to contrast that. Um, and that's really the update for now. Just uh, a lot of a lot of electrical going in at the moment in HVAC. Plumbing hasn't really started. We cannot do a lot of the plumbing. That'll all go in this side. All the uh, water filters and heaters and all the basically water treatment system will go in here. Um, when the water's pumped from the surface well, it, it comes up through through that pipe there. And we can't do much in here because a lot of that equipment can't freeze. The seals will get damaged if it gets frozen, so we haven't been able to bring that equipment over here yet. So that's the next big thing. As soon as the utility company um, connects us and we have power and we can heat this place, then we'll be able to bring in the big water treatment equipment and take care of that. So anyway, that's it. I'm gonna get out of the electrician's hair so he can get to work without me uh, delaying him or 
worrying about making noise or whatever. So that's the progress so far. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.